And it's time now for our In Focus Health segment. And throughout the month of February, health correspondent Lino Madhu is taking a closer look at alternative medicine. Hi, Lenore, and what do you have for us today? Well, today it's all about needles and acupuncture. We will discuss acupuncture, the ancient practice of treating patients with small needles. Joining us now in the studio is acupuncturist Dawit Asefa. Dawit, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Well, when we hear acupuncture, we, we see needles right away, but it's more more to that. There's more to that than just uh, needles. Tell us about um, acupuncture. Sure. I mean, um, of course, in Asia, it's a little bit more accepted than here in the West. Um, but Chinese medicine, specifically acupuncture, is based upon the theory of channels of energy in your body. And um, these channels of energy are called meridians. And when you place needles in different um, points along those channels of energy, you're able to activate the flow of energy, or qi, as they say in Chinese medicine, to promote healing in the body. Um, we believe that most illness is rooted in, their, in an obstruction in the body. And once you uh, alleviate the obstruction by allowing the free flow of energy, uh, the person has a relief of symptoms. So basically, to understand it, so it's the energy that heals. Absolutely. I mean, we're, everything on our planet, our universe is energy. We all, the Earth has an electromagnetic field. It has a way that the energy flows through it, and our body has the same way. So what are some of the conditions that can be treated with acupuncture? Um, the, the, the number of symptoms, most of the time acupuncture, it can be good, of course, for some acute conditions, um, but a lot of chronic conditions it can be very helpful for. Um, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, uh, loss of gynecological disorders, um, pain, very effective for pain, um, digestive disorders. The, the list is quite long, but it can be very helpful for many, many issues. What do you focus on in your practice? I focus on a couple of different things, but one of the main things I do focus on is uh, gynecological disorders and infertility. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a very strong component in my practice, and I find Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and Chinese herbal medicine can be very, very effective for helping um, help gynecological disorders and also promote fertility. Now can you explain the mechanism, something that I'm always trying to understand, how do you, by sticking a needle, then you feel better? I know you said it's energy, but how long does it take? I mean, how does it work? Um, when you put the needles in, oftentimes you might leave the needles in for 25 minutes, 30 minutes, it just depends. Um, on what, on, on what the condition is. And of course, you put the needles in different parts of the body depending on what the person has going on. So um, it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> it's simple to you, but someone like me, it's hard to understand. But I see what you're saying, definitely. And um, so you talked about some of the conditions. Now, for a treat for something like uh, fibromyalgia or any, any other condition, how long will it take for the person from the first day of treatment to, to start seeing results and feeling better? Many people can see um, a relief of symptoms pretty immediately. Um, at least, uh, you know, the way I work, I, many people notice symptoms uh, get better very quickly. A lot of what people have to understand is what they're doing when they're not in their coming in for a session, meaning what their lifestyle is like. Do they have a lot of stress? Do they have a bad diet? Um, if they're tired, are they pushing themselves through with caffeine and coffee and other types of things that will ultimately deplete their body in the long run, although they might get a short-term energy boost? So uh, what you're doing outside of the clinic is just as important as, um, as what we're doing in the clinic. And so a lot of my practice is talking about lifestyle and stress management, um, learning how to relax. Um, diet, exercise, and getting proper sleep. Very important indeed. Let me let me see what the needles look like. And, okay. Uh, uh, maybe a small demonstration. Okay. I'm a bit scared of needles, but I think I can handle this. Let's. Okay. See. Um, so why don't we try putting one okay. on your arm? Okay. And you could just yeah. You All could right. just just lay your arm right, right over here. here. Yeah. All just, right. You could just turn it just like that. Okay. And I don't know if we can roll yeah, that up a little fine. bit. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Okay. Um, and, and so we're just going to take some alcohol and just swab you right there. Okay. Okay. And we always use disposable needles. I know that's something a lot of people Important. Have, yes, uh, I was going have to questions ask. about. Yes. They're always disposable. Oh, God, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> we are not trying to draw blood, okay? Okay. The needles are not hollow. It looks like a big needle. Well, we're not going to put it in that deep. Okay. And I'm so, not looking. I'm not so looking. Just, oh my have, God. I have to look and and it's done. Oh, really? That's it. Oh, 
I didn't feel anything. <laughs> this is the first time I don't feel anything with needles. I usually it's a very thin. It's like a strand of hair. Okay. And um, you know, and and when you take out the needle, oftentimes people they don't they don't even uh, see any blood. Oh. And um, but we still I can do this. And we still wipe you down, you know. Okay. And um, and that's it. That's it. That is that's it. That's amazing. It was very easy. It's very easy. Okay, I can see how it works. So tell, tell us about some of the different parts of the body where, you know, you stick the needles. Does it depend on the condition? Absolutely. So if someone has digestive problems, we'll, um, we'll put needles around their stomach. But of course, the, the, the interesting thing about acupuncture um, is that you have areas of the body that you'll put needles in that may seem like it's not necessarily connected with that part of the body, but it definitely will have an effect um, because of the way the energy circulates and is connected to that part of the body. And uh, where do you practice uh, quickly? Um, I have two clinics that I practice out of um, in Washington, D.C., at Tulsi Holistic Living. It's okay. at 1642 R Street. Okay. And I have another practice in Old Town, Alexandria that, I pra uh, that I'm at, and it's uh, 108 South Columbus Street. Well, thank you so much, Dawid, for joining us today. Thank you and, very uh, much. And you showed me that I could definitely take some needles. It's not so, so bad, right? Good. It's not so bad. OK. <laughs> thank you. And that was uh, Dawid Tasefa, acupuncturist. He's based here in Washington, D.C. DC. Back to you, Dimiake. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thanks to you, Lenore Madu, for joining us always with interesting segments Tuesdays and Thursdays right here on In Focus. <laughs>